everyone. Welcome back to a brand new episode of me making random videos about random topics. So, anyway, I made a video uh, quite a few months ago about me slowly uh, piecing my gaming PC together. And it's been far too long since I've made an update, and I apologize for that, for... The viewers of the of that video or they just want to see a gaming rig so anyway it's not that hard to build a pc um cable management yeah it could be a little bit hard to go ahead and get it to where it looks you know somewhat clean on the inside because from the naked eye it looks you know it, it, it looks all right so, inside of the PC, um, let me power her on for you so you guys can see how beautiful it is. Then let me slam the delete button so I can get into the BIOS. Alright, guys, we are in the BIOS, and now I can show you what type of heat that I am packing. So... Today I have a, um, let me see, I have a Ryzen 5 5600X, box for it right up here, and uh, a Snowman uh, RGB cooler, if you could see that up there. So, as you can see... Uh, that's what I'm running, and my speed is 4200 megahertz, and memory is, uh, 16 gigs, because on my old computer, I had, um, 8 gigs of DDR3 1600, and sometimes I would just, you know, almost max out the RAM. So, long story short... Um, that is what I have on this thing, and it looks beautiful. I love it. You know, I've got three fans in the front. You know, this is a case by Thermaltake. Thermaltake. I believe it's the V200 model. Now, I do know I have a 1050Ti, which is a little underwhelming, and I do have ketchup and mustard cables, you know. I'm definitely going to go in there someday and repair that uh, cable management flaw because that looks absolutely awful. But at the time, I just wanted to get this thing together already and, uh, you know, look at that. I've got a nice little cooler and, oh yeah, that cable management is very bad. I'm definitely going to have to do a video where I go inside and I go ahead and fix it. And uh, I'm using a power spec 650 watt uh, power supply that you that is 80 plus it's 80 plus bronze it's not 80 plus gold but it pumps more than enough power than I need. Um, when I found this GTX 1050 Ti at the side of the road, um, I had, um, well, I simply had a, um, uh, a 400 watt power supply and that was more than enough to drive it in the old PC that was running that hardware. So I think I do need. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to get a, uh, a higher power graphics card. Um, anyway, I just wanted to make a short update with you guys so I could, uh, just show you what type of stuff is going on with my computer. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, I know this place is awful. I'm going to have to make a video where I just clear... All of this S to the H to the I, I think you guys know the rest, uh, so I could clear it out. Um, also, one thing to note is if you ever build a PC and your memory says uh, 
it's traveling at that speed, which is, uh, well, not 3200 megahertz. Um, no, you could go ahead and set that in advance, uh, well, just select, uh, profile one, uh, DOCP, at least that's what happened with mine. Um, yeah, so long story short, I just wanted to show you guys the thing built. I know I was gonna make a building video, and I really do apologize for that. But, anyway, I'm going to... Go ahead and uh, end this video and go ahead and upload it. So, talk to you guys later. Bye.